Let's get right to it. Have you ever noticed advice on various boards is all over the place? If I read all the advice on Quora, I'd have no interest in machine learning at all. The truth is, most of the advice sucks and it's not backed by any real world data or real world experience. In this video, let's have some fun. Here are five things amateurs or novices say in machine learning and data science. These aren't in any order. Number one, machine learning engineers and data scientists author their own models. This is a sure sign you've never worked in the real world. If you did, you'd know that unless you work on the TensorFlow team or something similar, you aren't writing models. In the real world, you use frameworks and libraries. How can TensorFlow be the top framework for deep learning and XGBoost be the top library for structured data if everyone is busy writing their own models? The truth is, no one writes their own models. Number two, modeling is what machine learning engineers and data scientists do all day. No. No, we don't. Actually, for the most part, modeling has been democratized. Now, that's not just coming from me. That's coming from one of the world's foremost AI researchers, Andrew Ng. Here's what he said last year. Again, not me, Andrew Ng. The model and the code for many applications is basically a solved problem. That, folks, is exactly what model democratization is. Number three, you can't be a machine learning engineer without heavy math. Wrong. I've worked on several high-level projects for Uber and Microsoft, and to be honest, my math skills suck. So, how can I be a machine learning engineer without heavy math? The answer is applied statistics. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but I do know a lot about applying statistical techniques to my data. This is called data cleansing. It's what machine learning engineers and data scientists do most of the time. The truth is, all the math you're going to need for a job as a machine learning engineer or a data scientist is about applying mathematical techniques to your data. So, when you see someone talk about needing advanced degrees for applied machine learning, it's a sure sign they're an amateur or they're from academia and they've never worked in the real world. Number four, a master's degree is going to get you a job in machine learning. Nope, no it won't. If you're starting from scratch, meaning you aren't in an IT role or working with data in the real world, I promise you you're not going to get hired as a machine learning engineer after you attain your master's degree. Colleges teach theory. The real world is all applied. Not one top machine learning engineer I work with has a master's degree in this field. Not one. Number five, you think most real world machine learning is deep learning. A sure sign you've never worked in the real world is believing everything is about deep learning. It's not. Deep learning has two great use cases. They are NLP and computer vision. However, most real-world modeling is done on structured data, and one model class is king here, gradient boosters. When you hear someone talking about how deep learning is taking over the world, it's a sure sign that person is an amateur. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.